Hey guys. So for my story, I wrote about uh, another executive order actually. Um, in President Biden's first day in office, he issued an order that put a stop to the Keystone XL pipeline in the States. Um, and the original pipeline served as a mode of transportation for oil from Alberta, Canada to Illinois and Texas and a few other states. And the proposition was that it would bring about around 830,000 barrels per day if it was built. And so this XL is an extension of that original Keystone. And that original Keystone was thought about like thought up in 2008 when oil prices were like really, really high before the recession. And Canada ended up approving this pipeline in 2010. But President Obama and the US government as a whole, they stalled out like talks about it and like through 2015 and through the end of the term. And the pipeline faced a lot of a lot of like negative press from a lot of different groups because people were worried about oil spills and the damage the pipes could do like to ecosystems. And actually, President Trump actually approved the pipeline within his few within his first month of office, and he issued a new permit that streamlined the process by disregarding like environmental due diligence. But following the results of the election, the company that uh, proposed the pipeline, TC Energy Corp, they tried to salvage its standing in the states, and they offered 1.7 billion dollars in spending on different types of renewable energy sources. But these spending goals actually weren't enough to sway the president's decision because he believes that this pipeline doesn't serve the best interests of our country. Um, and Canadian Prime Minister Trudeau, um, he's been an avid supporter of the pipeline since the beginning. And he's been on record saying things about how, like if you found a bunch of oil, it, it would kind of be foolish not to, not to use it, not take advantage of it. So he ended up uh, expressing disagreement with this decision. But based on the quickness with which Biden acts with like on his first day of office, canceling the pipeline, in addition to rejoining the Paris Agreement, it seems clear to me that this administration's goals of combating climate change and moving towards clean energy is pretty clear.